Right, let's look at the monosaccharides. In detail. Quick reminders about which they are. We've got alpha glucose, fructose, and galactose. Okay. Um, alpha glucose is a very soluble molecule. Okay, it's used for respiration. Okay. And uh, transport, and it's transported around animals. Fructose again, extremely soluble, uh, found in fruits. Okay, sweeter than alpha glucose. Galactose, slightly less soluble. Okay, uh, and is used to make glycoproteins and glycolipids. Um, now, all of these have the same, um, the same chemical formula. The hexose sugars. And they're C6H12O6. Okay, but they have different structures, so they're actually bonded together differently. And they, these structural isomers will then give rise to these slightly different properties that they will have. Okay. Um, now let's look at the structure. They're a ring structure, so uh, it's a hexose, and it forms a ring. Okay, and this is how we'll will build up what glucose, alpha glucose, looks like. So, the carbons are arranged in a ring, and this is the ring structure. And you have an extra, the sixth carbon here. Now, you need to know how they're numbered. So, this is always carbon one, two, three, four, five, and six up here. All right? Now, where you get your difference in, in uh, uh, structure comes from the hydroxyl groups and the hydrogens that bond to them. Okay? So, here uh, we have a hydrogen molecule here and a hydroxyl group here. Same here. Flips round here. Flips round again here. Now here on the sixth carbon, we just write CH2OH. So the carbon has got two hydrogens. We could draw it out in full and draw it out like this, where we've got carbon, hydrogen, hydrogen, and then an OH group. But normally, we just write out that. That doesn't change, so we normally just stick to CH2OH. Now a way to remember alpha glucose is by the hydroxyl groups. So what I tell students is, remember the pattern of where they are, starting with carbon-1, and with alpha-glucose it's down, down, up, down. Okay. So this is alpha-glucose. If we take a look at an actual model of alpha-glucose here, oops, let's get this the right way around, here we go. Um, you can see very clearly that you've got Here's your oxygen, red is ox our oxygen molecules, white hydrogen and black carbon. This is carbon 1 here, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We've got the hydroxyl groups down, down, up, down. And then here we've got the CH2OH. What often students forget, which I forgot to put on myself, is that this has only got three bonds, this carbon. There's actually a hydrogen atom there. Okay, so that's alpha glucose. The next one you need to know is, um, uh, we'll look at, is galactose. Very similar to alpha glucose, but your hydroxyl groups are in a slightly different order. So let's have a look how that one goes. Okay, so again... You've got your carbons in the ring, ring structure here. You have CH2OH at the top there. And all that changes is that instead of the pattern being down, down, up, down, we have a different pattern. We have up, down, up, up. And you fill your hydrogens in. Very similar 
but this is galactose. Okay. Lastly, we'll just look at fructose. Um, fructose is an easy one to identify because it's got a slightly different structure. Okay. So carbon one is actually uh, outside of the, the 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 main ring, and oxygen is here. So you end up with a structure that looks slightly different. So you've got a CH2OH group here, and in fact this becomes carbon one, two, three, four, five, and you've got a CH2OH here. Right. We have a hydroxyl group here, and here. Here and a hydrogen here. Okay. So this is fructose, and fructose you can see looks slightly different because it's got a slightly different ring shape with two CH2OH groups on either side. Now, we're going to look very quickly at how we make a disaccharide. I'm going to do one example with you here and then you can have a look at the presentation and make notes and do the questions with the other um, examples. So if we just have a look at our disaccharides, let's move that up there. Okay, remember, with the disaccharide, you're looking at two monomers joined together. Okay. The three that we need to know about are maltose, sucrose and lactose. Now it's dead easy, okay? Maltose, all right, is made up of alpha glucose and alpha glucose. I bet that's gone off the board, hasn't it? I'm a bit nervous about that. Sucrose, again, one alpha glucose, All right. and fructose, lactose, alpha glucose, and hey, guess what? Galactose. Okay, so the main things that you need to get here is that disaccharides are formed by condensation reactions. And what actually will be made in a condensation reaction is you get a glycosidic bond and a water molecule. So let's have a look first. What we'll do is we'll take maltose as an example and I'll show you how it works. And it's very, very simple. So if we draw two molecules next to each other, so... Let's, let's use red here. Okay, so what we've got is our carbon ring. And we'll draw one right next, next door here. Remember our pattern, down, down, up, down, fill in your hydrogens, again here, down, down, up, down, now what happens is the glycosidic bond, water in a condensation reactor, wa reaction, water is removed. So here's where the water is, here. We've got H2O. That will actually be removed, okay? So what will then happen here is that with, when you remove those uh, uh, elements there, you then form your glycosidic bond. 
which is an oxygen molecule that joins the two together. So where you had two hydroxyl groups, OH, OH, we've got H2O comes off, and this, okay, is your glycosidic bond. So if we take our molymod kits, we've got glucose there, and we've got glucose here. And what you can see here is our, this is our CH2OH. We've got two hydroxyl groups that are come together here. Now, one of them will then bond with the water. So, water has been removed. There's the water. And then what's left bonds together like this. So, there's our glycosidic bond connection there. And there you see one monomer with another one, your disaccharide. Okay, and this is the condensation reaction. What, can, what we sometimes call this bond, which is something you need to be aware of, is this is a, a 1 4 glycosidic bond because the bond, okay, has been formed with carbon 1, okay, and carbon 4. So what we sometimes, you sometimes see this written as a 1,4-glycosidic bond. Okay, now you've seen what monosaccharides are and disaccharides are. You need to now make notes from the presentation and work through the question sheet. Bye-bye.